Well, a friend of mine was telling me about something called homeostatic controls. And it was so interesting, I decided I'd convey that to you also. Okay, so here we go. Let's say you've got cell 1 and cell 2. Well now, cell 1 secretes a chemical. This chemical is ignored by cells, well, 3 through 30, let's say. But cell 2 has a receptor for that chemical on its surface. That receptor on cell 2 is actually a protein who really loves the chemical that was secreted by cell 1. Well, it, the receptor on cell 2, now reacts with that chemical, who now makes his way into cell 2. And, and kapow, a response is generated. That's a big wow from me, because cell 1 is now governing the behavior of his neighboring cell, cell 2. This is called a paracrine kind of control. A paracrine control? What's that? That's where C1, cell 1, governs the actions of cell 2 by generating a chemical. Okay, tell me about that chemical. It generates a chemical that causes cell 2 to react in some anticipated way. That's called a paracrine control, you say? Yes, it's called a paracrine control. This is George Ball. I hope this video was useful to you. Please rate this video. I'd appreciate that. And good luck.